Hey everybody, Spoonvet here, and this is Hoonix. Are you thinking what? Yeah, Hoonix. This is the gateway, and let me just see. This is the workstation. Um, probably you will not see everything correctly. Um, let me just fix that. One second. Right, so now you should see everything. And as you can see, are we using Tor? Yes, we are. So we're connected to that gateway. You have two, um, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, OVA files, which you open up in VirtualBox. And then you just start them up both. And now you're connected to Tor. So we're actually, why can I, I why can I go any higher? What's this all about? No, I can. All right, that was weird. All right, so that one can go. Uh, we're connected to Tor, so we'll just search for I don't know Spoonbear. No, that's not the server that's here. Sorry. There. Everything is going a bit slowly because I have to connect from this machine to the other machine, which has to connect to my virtual network adapter, which has to connect to my real network adapter, adapter which has to connect to my router which has to connect to the internet and then has to go all back again so it stands to reason that it's reasonably slow because of so many goddamn hops is that bad? no it's not bad because normally you would run this in a, another environment you would just have a physical machine running the gateway and you have a physical machine running the work, workstation but here we go so here you go, doing spoon fat, whatever. I'm not even sure if I'm in here. I hope so, but yeah, we don't know. So let us see what happens. Pretty awesome. Ah, there we are. Spoon fat work. You can even view it by XQuick proxy. That's what. Well, what is that? Cool, you can. I didn't even know about that one. It's probably a new feature. You can uh, look them up via their proxy, so you have great privacy, but slightly slower, which is even slower than slow for me. But that's that's pretty fucking awesome that you can do that right now. And this whole thing. All right, cool. So that's basically what Hoonix is all about. So here you can search stuff, and you can go back, and then you can do unproxy. My mouse is a bit weird. Um, but yeah, everything you can see is pretty funny. This is the direct one, so you cannot do that by extra proxy, but this one you can. This is pretty funny. And yes, all my achievements. Yes. So, um... Yeah, like I said, that that's basically what Hoonix is all about. You got a workstation here. You got some applications. You know, you got document viewer. You got basically only Tor browser, which is all you need. Um, a media player, which is all you need. Oh, God damn it, it does it again. There's something wrong with the mouse and everything on this one, but it's, that's that's okay. That's okay. It's only, I believe it's only alpha or something. I don't know. Office, so you got documents here again. You cannot really make documents on your own, but that's not what this is supposed to be. Just uh, something you can run in order to be anonymous or secure, at least. So, let's Hoonix. Um, cannot really tell you anything more about this than that. It's just, god damn you. All right, wait one second. All right, let's see now it works. All right, so here you can um, see what we have. Let's see what other kind of add-ons we have. Extensions. Well, basically the three add-ons that will do the most. You can we can change the appearance if we want, but we don't need to. Uh, basically, if you close this, you have a normal KDE desktop. 
Let's see if we can easily change that one. Well, we'll do that one. Fly. All right. So that's it for uh, Unix, and I hope that will satisfy whoever wanted to show us this or have me do it actually. Um, cannot really change anything else about it. This will probably look weird on YouTube because it's not rendered in a um, normal way. Normally I record it 1280 by 720. Now I have to record it 1440 by 900 because otherwise I could not get this whole thing on there. So yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, full screen will probably still look weird in most cases. Anyway. That's Hoonix, that's it for me, and we will see each other soon. I'll probably stretch out these uh, videos across the week. Uh, might, yeah, so I have a buffer probably. I'll just release one video per day, I'll, I'll do that, and then I'll make it to next week, in which I won't have any distros left anymore to, to tape, but I'll be ready to do the server stuff and the hacking stuff and god knows what else.